Hey guys, welcome back. So now getting back into the Immortal Hulk and back to the main narrative of what exactly he's doing with Shadow Base after taking down General 14. And with doing so at this point, he has a lot of resources at his side. So let's get into it. But first, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to catch the spills every week. And don't forget to hit that bell up top so we can squat up in the comments for the first hour. Alright, so at this point, picking up where Banner and the others have taken over Shadow Base, we then continue with Bruce Banner, who sends out a message to the world exposing what Shadow Base was, with them being a black budget organization who was granted $1.2 billion to essentially capture the Hulk, cut him up, and weaponize him. And with them doing so, really just blowing the whistle on everything about Shadow Base, he doesn't give up the location, but he also brings up the valid point that this taxpayer money could have been used for education, medicine, and like a number of other things that would have benefit of the people but most notably out of this broadcast he informs the world that had this budget not been used to pursue the hulk then they really would have just spent it on either guns bombs or something destructive rather than constructive and he lets the world know that these are the ways of the human world and there are ways that won't change so for this reason he has to end it and when he sends this message out it ruffles a few feathers to say the least but even still this is something that we've known throughout this series for quite some time and even predating this series like even if we go back all the way to a Avengers No Surrender, the Hulk had made this very clear. And even fast forward after that, when we get the conversation between Doc Samson and the Hulk, which is where, in my opinion, I think we got the most in-depth look of what Banner is talking about prior to this point. Because at the time, the Hulk had told Doc Samson that he wanted to destroy the world, but not only just to just destroy it, but really just in the sense of taking out the people who are taking out themselves. And in the process of taking out themselves, they're dragging a number of others down with them, which we also got a glimpse of in the Immortal Hulk Absolute Carnage tie-in, with the Devil Hulk refusing to bond with with Venom symbiote because he believed it was a detour from this precise plan. And so just to be clear, this has little to do with that glimpse into the future when we got a peek into the new birth of the next universe when the Hulk was bumping into different moons and punching planets. Like just to be clear, that is not what is meant throughout this message when Banner gives out this broadcast, but rather that was a peek into what this message could fully be. And also in that case, very much including the one below all, who we had seen at the core of that planet punching Hulk. But essentially everybody who had seen this broadcast like that's pretty much what they saw and like in their minds the hulk just punching the world and in one blow just punching humanity's lights out but after giving such a message banner heads down to the diner gets some clam chowder of which he compliments the chef it's the best he ever had but not long after he's here he's confronted by amadeus cho who had seen the broadcast much like everybody else but he came here to confront banner and ask him like is he out of his mind and it's kind of funny because banner is very omarion to the situation like he's very unbothered because these plans didn't just come up out of nowhere because in spite of everything that's been going on this is something that the hulk has been meaning to get around to since avengers no surrender and amadeus is really just trying to get him to see like the world is losing it because it's being broadcasted on every news station all the different heroes are being interviewed like what are they gonna do about it and the avengers is like we looking into it even though we know good and well they knew since day one and after that incident in the desert with brian banner they more or less been staying out the hulk's way and it's really come to the point where as far as the heroes they just don't know what to do with them and if you look at the pandemonium with the media you also see a result that bruce banner had said would happen also taking place as well because when he made the announcement he also said that he knew that there would be people who would try to capitalize on the chaos that this would bring and surely enough this is exactly what happened and of all people nobody did this more than roxon with one of their campaigns saying if your baby's acting out of order then perhaps your baby has hulk syndrome and I don't know, this one sound a little valid though, because some of these babies out here just be wildin'. <laughs> but during the time that Banner's having this conversation with Amadeus, back over at Shadow Base, Doc Samson's having this conversation with Dr. McGowan. And Samson does make the point that the whole Hulk syndrome thing is pretty much more of a fancy way of saying what Amadeus Cho already stated about the Hulk. Back when Amadeus first got his powers, and he mentioned that Banner had a disassociative identity disorder. And it's pretty much public knowledge at this point, but even still, and once again, if the media can make money off of it, they're going to capitalize on that opportunity. But as far as where things are, like here at Shadow Base, and in relation to the other locations as well, we also come to find out that this one pretty much stands alone. And the only people who really had the clearance to know what was going on at this one in particular were the people who were actually here. And even though this base was given like $1.2 billion from the government, that went out the window with General 14. And any chance of that getting picked up by someone else went out the window with Banner's announcement. But the remaining scientific crew that worked here before, they're still here working with Banner. And for the most part, they're pretty much doing the same thing as far as researching the Hulk. But now, 
what they use the research for has changed because now they use the research to help people with gamma based abilities. And as far as these scientists like how they're going to eat and how the place is going to function now as far as funding, from here that's pretty much just coasting off the remaining 300 million that is left from the 1.2 billion from which General 14 had originally got. But one thing this hasn't stopped is like people leaking information who either formerly worked at Shadow Base and walked away because eventually Dr. McGowan's identity gets leaked to the public along with their criminal history which was one of those things that we knew that 14 looked for when recruiting people just so he could hold it over their head while they were working at Shadow Base with many of these people still being wanted by the authorities. And as far as Jackie McGee who works with the Arizona Herald to which the Arizona Herald has made a lot of money off of the Hulk and they've really gone full circle from chastising her from chasing the Hulk to where in the beginning they were saying it was just a waste of her time but now though they do want to continue to make money off of it there's now the issue of Jackie's involvement which then puts the Herald on this weird place of dancing on the line of being a part of why all this is happening and because they don't want to stop printing news about the Hulk because for them the Hulk is as big to the Arizona Herald as Spider-Man is to the Daily Bugle but with them knowing how closely Jackie is involved, as a result of this, in a meeting with the head of legal, they end up minimizing her involvement to protect the company. But so now, back to this conversation between Cho and Banner. Because Amadeus is really just getting caught up to a lot of this stuff that's been going on. Because like, for one, he asks what happened to General 14, and Banner says nothing, so Amadeus is kind of like, okay, well that answers that. But then when Amadeus asks if he were to die, would he come back? And Banner's more like, mm, I wouldn't take that chance. Because up to this point, Gamma of people coming back from the dead has not been a 100% thing. Prime example, General Ross. But with Amadeus still trying to give Banner this view of optimism and hope for the world and doing so by telling him that this is still a world full of heroes. But at this point, Banner doesn't believe in heroes anymore. And sure, there's brilliant minds like Tony Stark, Reed Richards, Adam Brashear, but Banner goes on to express that Iron Man, Mr. Fantastic, and Blue Marvel, they haven't found a solution yet. And as far as he's concerned, the closest to find a solution is either Wakanda or Krakoa. But as as far as Banner's concerned, he is done. He's no longer trying to fix what needs to be fixed, so instead he's gonna break what needs to be broken. And he's gonna do so by picking one specific target to make an example out of and preferably one of the targets who's been making the biggest profit out of this entire situation. And for Amadeus, like at this point he realizes there's no swaying in Banner's decision. And it's like there's no convincing him that this isn't the way to go. So he really just leaves and tells him like, look, just make sure you go about this the smart way because he'll be keeping an eye on him. And I'm not really sure what Amadeus would necessarily do, but it's really just like one of those situations like what can you do? Because if Banner makes a decision to go a certain route you can't stop him and really the least you can do is just hope that he hears you out at another time but as soon as Amadeus leaves this is where we find out that Banner is actually working with the chef and oh this ain't just any chef but this is chef Namor which is a crazy reveal because Namor though he's done team ups before but he's usually the guy that says no like I truly believe that you can make like a 30 minute cut montage of like Namor just saying no because this guy is seldomly the team player but when Amadeus leaves, Banner does tell Namor that he appreciates Namor not revealing himself while Amadeus was there. And I mean, I'm pretty sure it's because they want to keep it low key, but also because Banner knew that Amadeus would have went into panic mode had he known that half of the original defenders were now working on doing the opposite of defending. But from here now, jumping over to Roxxon Corp, it's here where we find out that Dario Agar is shedding the dual identity between his regular self and the Minotaur. And at this point, he's only showing himself fully to the company executives, but he's also toying with the idea of going public, one as an attempt for redemption with everything that's happened with Weapon H and with Weird World and the door and more recently the War of Realms. But for Dario Agar, in this climate where the Hulk has waged war against the world, he now sees this as an opportunity to not only capitalize but to also rise the power because he recognizes for the most part that people all over the world they just scrambling and it's moments like these where power and opportunity get shuffled and he sees himself to be the fit leader so he can use his power both physically and monetary so he can determine where the cards land and i gotta say like i could kind of see it like with the money side in the media uh, but aside from that there are a lot of people out there stronger than the minotaur and i mean i like the suit and everything but Come on bro, like we all know you're not gonna put the hooves on the Hulk. Like that's not gonna end well for him. But that'll do it for this one guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And I gotta say, I'm most curious to hear what you guys think is the plan between Namor and Banner because it seems like Namor has an idea or a strategy that he wants to pitch to Banner on how Namor thinks that Banner should get this done. So let me know your thoughts down below and we'll do it again in the next one. All right, later.